Today I'm going to show you how to extend the background in Photoshop. Hello, I'm Todd Gregg and today I have another tutorial for you photographers that shoot on seamless white or any kind of paper, it does, any color paper, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you how when you shoot, if you have gaps on the edges, you can correct those edges and make your image complete. And as you can see on both the right and left side, you can see the studio and you can see the wall and you can see the actually the backdrop uh, stand and over on the left side as well in the very very bottom you can actually see a portion of the the lighting the lighting stand so I'm gonna remove all of this and show you how to do this one of the things that I consider I use two methods to do this you can either do the free transform tool if the area is larger or if the area is smaller you can use your content aware so for an example down here in the bottom right here you could use your content aware tool so we'll grab our uh, lasso tool and basically all you have to do is just circle this area right here and then you come up here to edit and fill and then make sure this is on content aware and make sure it's at 100 percent and you just click OK and you notice that that area has been filled and then you just hit command D or control D on PC and then that removes the marching ant, the, the ants, the selection so that's how you can get rid of the smaller areas now these larger areas up here on the left and then over here on the right you may want to use your free transform tool so the way that I use this tool is I click on my magnifier and then what I want to do is I want to hold down my option key and I just want to zoom in right here then I take my rectangular marquee tool and then I come right here and then I select this area right here and now once you have that selected now all you have to do is hit command T on Mac or control T on Windows and that gives you your transform tool and then you just take your cursor and you just drag this out until that area is filled and then you come up here and you click the check mark and then you can click control or command D to deselect and then you do the same thing over on the right side of the image you take your marquee tool you select the area command or control T for your transform tool and you drag your mouse you do the same thing until the area is filled you click OK the check mark deselect and now you can come and you can click your magnifying tool fit screen and you can see now the image has been corrected and this makes for a much more pleasing image and when you're shooting in a small studio area this really makes your image appear to be in a larger studio and people don't even know uh, how big or how small your studio is but this is just a really easy technique to use when you're shooting and you're in your studio and you get back and you're editing your images and you need to fill spaces so I hope you enjoyed this leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video